Well, as we celebrate Black History Month, today we meet a doctor who is a trailblazer in more than just one way. Not only did she become a doctor during the 60s, she is still practicing today at the age of 91, and she has no plans to retire. I want to see reporter Sandra Bookman has her story. Do you feel 91? Well, sometimes with a little ache, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, other than that, I don't feel that I'm my age. Dr. Melissa Freeman may be one of the few women who doesn't mind being asked about her age. At 91, she's got a decades-long career in medicine that would make anyone proud. She graduated from med school in 1955, has been practicing since 1961. Internal medicine is her specialty, but she's been on the front lines of addiction medicine since the late 60s and now treats patients caught in the throes of the current opioid crisis. I've had friends that, you know, what are you doing? Why, why are you working in that field? Why are you treating addiction, you know? But uh, somebody has to do it, and not enough people are really doing it. Dr. Freeman's tenacity is perhaps no surprise, given her family history. Her maternal grandfather, Albert B. Walker, was born into slavery in Virginia, then snatched away from his mother at age seven. When the emancipation was signed, he was told this meant that he didn't know what that meant, and he was told he could return to his mother. Her grandfather later moved north to New York City, where Dr. Freeman's parents eventually bought the home she grew up in, in the Williamsbridge section of the Bronx. Despite an early love of music, medicine won out. Today, Dr. Freeman still sees patients in her office uptown, still rides the subway and buses, and still dismisses questions about retirement. I'm not ready yet. <laughs> No, a, a, a very nice journey. I wouldn't have done it any other way. Sandra Bookman, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Our hats off to you, Dr. Freeman. We have a number of stories to celebrate Black History Month, and you can see them all at our website, abc7ny.com slash blackhistory.